Hi everybody, it's Dan. This video, the topic was interview um, a friend or family member who's close with you and very supportive throughout your transition. Um, I interviewed my mom because, to be honest, like my mom's come a long way, and in the beginning, it seemed like she wasn't supportive, but she was just confused. Um, and it's very clear my mom loves me, and she's like my best friend. I know she's going to be there for me all the time, and she's there every step of the way throughout my transition, and I know she'll always be there for me. So, um, it's, a, it's a little jumpy just because there was a lot of, like, rambling, and the dog started barking, but everything's real, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, here it is. So, this is my mom. Hi. <laughs> uh, these are the questions that people have asked me. That I'm also going to answer. The first question is, how did you feel when I came out as being transgender? I actually thought you were making a mistake. I thought you were confused and you really didn't know what you wanted. And I thought it was like a, like a phase type of a thing. But, you know, as time went on, I, I realized it wasn't. But that's, that was my first thought, that you were making a mistake. That you, you were making a mistake, you were confused. Yeah. But you don't think that now? No. Um, what made you stop thinking it was just a phase? That was actually the next question. I'll tell you, I remember you were in the city walking to one of your doctors. And you were talking to me about it, but it was still, I still didn't realize, you were talk, talk, talking to me about, you were talking about you was growing up as a kid. How you were... You like to dress like a guy. You like to play with the, you know, guy things, this and that. And I, I thought back and I said, oh my God, I remember Halloween. I killed you. I made you be an angel. And you came home. You wanted to be the football player. And it was like, it was one thing after the other. I mean, it was always, didn't want to be a girl. Like, well, my God, what did I do to this kid? Like, I wasn't, listen, I wasn't, I did not, I just went right over the top. You didn't know. I didn't. I had no clue. I had no clue. And I think we were talking in the city, something registered, but not all the way. And you started to it very, ago. very vaguely, vaguely you were talking to me about it, like every once in a while. I tried to do it very smart. Yeah, you did, you I did. That about was it. good. When you asked me not to start hormones and have surgery, you said you're going to kick me out. How did you feel when I just did it? I just did it anyway. So, but when you, but I know, I remember you kept saying, um, get, 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 I have to move out June 1st or May 1st or this and that. I remember saying, if you were going to move out, you'd have a place by now. And then I said, what is it with you? You have to move out, you have to move out. And then you said you started. And that's hormones. Yeah. hormones. I was like, oh, shit. I mean, I didn't, I was upset. I, I Well, I don't know. I wasn't really upset. I was confused. I think I was, like, confused. I think I was very confused. Yeah. Like, I, I wasn't sure, like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I, it was a hard thing for me to accept. Yeah. You know, like. My daughter is not going to be my daughter, you know. But you are the same person. The same guy. That's what you kept telling me. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking. And you kept saying, "Oh, it's going to change." I know. Well, you're not going to be you. Now you don't even notice. I know. I know. But then the second part of that question is because I did it anyway behind your back. Did you believe that that's what I needed to do? Yes. It. I knew it was what you needed to do when you stormed out of the house, and I knew that. I could see that you were happier. Now, yeah. oh, now yes. But yeah, when, I, when I did it, anyway. Yeah. Did you ever think I was different growing up than all the other girls? Definitely. As I said before, As a kid. yes, you were. And I tried to fix your hair and this and that. And I know I did. I did a lot I of know. Shit and you hated it. And the makeup. Never... <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't understand. I'm so sorry for that. I really, I, I feel guilty. You I, feel I, guilty. I did. Well, I think back and I'm not going to get emotional here. Like I always do, but. I'm happy for you. Oh, I love you. I love you too. I always told you that from the get-go. I said I just want you to be happy. I know. I always love you. That's what matters. Do you feel like you lost the daughter? No, anymore. <laughs> anymore? No. Oh, you thought you you did? No, I <laughs> thought I was gonna feel like that. Actually, I thought I was gonna feel like that, but I never felt like that. It just was so gradual, and you're still you. <laughs> You know, still the same person, so nothing, you know, nothing ever. There's no, like, loss or gain, it's just, like, 
it's just the same. You know, you just more happy. It's a happier person. You know, and I, I really thought life's hard enough and you're, you're going to have a hard time and this and that, but everybody's so accepting. Everybody that I've talked to and, you know, it seems like your friends are accepting. And, yeah. Yeah, so it's fine. You know, I just thought maybe you personally would have such a hard time in life. And yeah. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful people aren't. Now that I just passed, no one knows. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Do you feel like your relationship with me changed since no. I like transitioned? You treat me not. differently now that I'm a man. No. I no. Don't, I don't. No, I don't think you do either. I don't. Still, still my kid. Yeah. <laughs> no <same>. matter what. <laughs> what did it feel like changing my pronouns? Did you get used to it? I still slept, as you know, but I do say he. I do. Even when you're not there, I do. I do. I do. Did you ever, were you ever against any of this? And did you finally accept all of it? Therapy, how did you do it? Like I said, I wasn't like against it. I was uh, afraid for you. I was. I was. I, that, I think that was in my heart. I was afraid for you. How other people would handle it. And my God, your life. You know, how are you going to do this? But I, you know, I was totally off. And I, yes, my therapist. I did go to therapy. Helped me so much. She really did. God bless her. Do you feel do you like know, you're still she, she? No, I don't either. I'm okay with it. You said, you said she, she, I was like, I don't know what it was. I, I go there and I was flying with her and, you know, and she says it's okay. And like she explained to me it's making you happy and she just made me, I said, I know that. I don't know why I'm upset. I couldn't figure out why I was upset. But I think mean, just talking to her every week, you know, it was yeah. a good thing. And eventually I, I knew going there, I didn't need her to, her help anymore because I accepted it. Have you ever been embarrassed about me being transgender? Not, no, I don't know. I mean, I told, you know, people work and shit. I, I was embarrassed. I was, I was scared of responses, I think. But I never got any negative responses ever. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Really? Yes. <laughs> I prayed to God. I said, thank you so much, see? Not anybody. Not one person. Oh. And like, you know, I have friends down the shore now. I do. And they're all okay with it. That's, that's good. Is he, if he's happy, that's so that's what they that's what he said next to him. It's not his fault. He did nothing wrong. It's not his fault. You did nothing wrong. You did nothing wrong. I'm sure that people think that it's like a fault and it's not. No, it's like, not a fault. It's, it's my life and my body. You yes. know what I mean? Like, yes. How about you? You have to be happy, you're happy, I'm happy. And, I feel like my body reflects me now. You know what I mean? Like it never did. I oh, know, yeah. but now it does. Yeah. It was like so weird. Like the more people I told them, nobody seemed to mind it. It was okay, and now I don't really care who I tell. So if somebody, if one person out of a hundred has a negative re reaction, fine. That's how they feel. That's their opinion. Whatever. And then if you see someone that you haven't seen in a long time, and they ask how I'm doing, are you comfortable telling them? Yes. About everything. Yes. Definitely. I have no, no problem with that. And then the last one is, what would you say to an unsupporting parent to try to help them support their transgender child more? Oh my God. Well, I guess you try to think about how you felt in the beginning. How they probably feel yeah, like that. they felt probably like their child, they probably would, would feel their child's making a mistake. You know, changing. And I guess I would tell them, you know, it's, their life, and if they're not happy in the body that God gave them, let them be happy in life. Life is hard enough. Let them be happy with what they have. Really. You know, they have to, and I would tell them, you really, if you, if you can't actually deal with it, you should go to therapy because that helped me. It took time. It wasn't like overnight. You know, I was just, that, that's what it really was, that one. It was like, I just was afraid for you. I didn't care about me. Like, it's not my life, it's your life. And yeah. I guess it didn't matter how just, much I told you that it, what you're thinking is, I don't know. doesn't make sense. Like, I'm okay, this is what I need. It doesn't matter, you have to go through it, I guess. And yeah, I think so. I think you do have feel to go it. through it to understand how happy it made you. Yeah. You know? Because your thoughts are different. Now. Right. Um, well, I'm, I'm happy for you. Remember, I kept saying, well, what if you do this? 
And then 10 years from now, you think you made a mistake. Yeah, you said that a lot. <laughs> but I, but I, that's I, like, I guess, like, but any mother would feel like, what if, what if they're making a mistake? They think that, that's what I thought. You like, you think this, but it's probably not really true. But then the more I thought about it, and I talked to my therapist, yeah, it's not something that developed overnight. It's something was in you your whole entire life. Yeah. It really was. Even as a, even as Will, when you threw, like, maybe three, two, you threw the dolls. Like a baby doll, you could get you, like, a little infant baby doll that you could care for. You threw it. Yeah. I, I, I remember a lot of different things that you just, I overlooked. I remember I asked you if I wanted to buzz my head. And I remember asking. I saw this guy's haircut and I want it. And I, I, you know, I said something. Like you're like, oh, you look like a boy. Because I, I look like a boy anyway. And I'm like, well, I want to look like a boy. It's, it's like, a hard thing for you to go through. I mean, well, you had to go through. And those around you to, you know, to, just to understand. And you do understand. It's amazing how, you know, I know you're happy now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well. Let's get a <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's everything. So, hope you guys like that. Anyone has any more questions for my mom and I, let me know and we'll gladly make another video. Thanks. This video is dedicated to Ryan Salins for all of the amazing work he's done. He inspired, motivated, and supported our donor all throughout his transition. This dedication was made by Eric Guerrero, who donated $25 this past Giving Tuesday.